I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, TT, two turn baby girl, you know me, still with the dolls that I grew beside, all the niggas brown, I and I got it, gotta watch the time, cause it's Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very short video for you guys um, just to show you guys what I do before I actually start applying lashes to my client's eyes. So the first thing that I do is I will grab my lash cleanser. This one is specifically from Lashbox LA. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's $18. And what I do is I just grab a lip applicator and I disperse this cleanser all around the lashes, on the lids, and underneath the eye just to take off any like oil, makeup, any type of residue that is still on the lashes. Keep in mind, I do wash every single one of my clients eyes this has actually helped me a lot with retention um so just keep that in mind and i don't actually charge for a lash pad this is complimentary with every appointment here i am just taking off some of some of those suds off and going to disperse some water on the eye just to make sure i'm taking off all the soap getting all of that soap off you don't want any of that seeping into your customer's eyes if your customer squints a lot or gets scared with this um, that could also cause for the soap to go in the eyes but the soap is very gentle so it shouldn't burn or anything like that I'm outside and I once you get all the soap off you are done i am just going to brush out the lashes and fan them out not sure why i changed the angle but you could still see here i am still just drying the lashes now here i'm gonna tell my customer to open their eyes and look towards me you could see that i didn't necessarily place the gel pad on the bottom lashes i just put it right underneath the eyes as i feel like the tape is what actually holds down the bottom lashes not necessarily the gel pad the gel pads are more for me as a lash tag so that it has more security when i'm placing down my isolation tweezers now here i am placing the tapes i do one eye at a time and i place only two more than two long strips it will tend to rise up and i do that for both eyes so you just want to tell your customer to look up towards you so that you can place the tape specifically on the bottom lashes and take your time you don't want to rush this step now here what i do is i'll pull down the ends of the, the gel pad so that it's not sitting too far up and if i notice that a couple of lashes at the end are still sitting out i will go ahead and just place a tiny piece of tape towards those lashes at the end and you could see that here what i do is i'll pull up the gel pad place it back down so that it's not too far up and i am going to lift up her eye with the customer's eye still closed and i'll place a small piece of tape on the remaining outer corner lashes I then go ahead and prime the lashes. I don't necessarily prime every single customer's lashes. It all just depends. But here I'm using the Lashbox LA Primer. I'll place a picture here so y'all could see which one I'm using. And I use just the lip applicator. And I'll go ahead and fan that out so i just go in and map out her set she was doing a volume cat eye today my map was 11 12 14 most of the middle and then 16 at the very end and you can use really anything to map out i personally like sharpies sharpies write so much better on the next care tape 
you can use whatever you feels comfortable for you if it's a pen if it's a marker whatever you want i went ahead and dispensed some of my glue into my glue ring now i am just going to start lashing her and i have started to work both eyes at a time which i can honestly say has increased my speed but keep in mind a lashing is not a race whatever makes you feel comfortable obviously you don't want to take like 10 hours but lashing does take time so take your time don't rush you want to make sure your isolation is good so that you don't have any stickies lashing both eyes at a time has helped me a lot with stickies once you place a lash on one eye and you move on to the next eye the glue has more time to dry i'm outside in a mg right outside and I do get asked a lot what type of glue I use and I actually use the halo glue from Paris Lash. It is actually my favorite glue. It is clear and it works perfectly with my humidity. Glue is going to be dependent on your temperature just because it works for me doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to work for you. PLA is actually my all-time favorite and I've been using this for a really long time I just a shorty of a anyways i was almost done with this set at this point i hope you guys really enjoyed this video leave me some suggestions on what videos you guys want me to post next i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel until next time bye See my heart turn crystal I can't even find a combination Right now I'm just stuck inside a crib on